Hello everyone, this is Isaiah C. from the OutdoorExperiment.com and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to parkerize a knife. This is a bayonet from a Century Arms International C93 style rifle. It came with a rifle. Uh, it's kind of like a little bonus thing included in the package. And uh, when it came from the factory it was horrible. It was rusted, it was corroded, it had all kinds of grease and gunk over it and the finish was just gone, if, if not, just not there. Uh, we'll start by disassembling the knife and then after I show you the parkerizing process we'll get into uh, how good of a job it turned out to be and whether or not it was worth it. Now, if you look real closely, that got most, if not all, of that rust off. Now, there's still some dark spots here, and I'm going to go over that really quick. Cold, so. The bottom piece, it looks like the glare gave it a little like reddish tint, but that's not, it's not rusty. That's clean nice and shiny. That piece is clean. This piece is clean the holder. And I, I sprayed off the tip here and here a little bit, but I didn't do the, the outside of it because it's going to take a lot of work to get that finish different and I don't think it's so bad. And then on the sheath, I successfully got rid of that little weird glue spot and then something to keep in mind is you can even see it in, in this video here see that line here that's from the blaster so now because I just blasted a little bit I basically gotta go over this whole sheath in order to correct that and that's something to keep in mind when you're doing this if you do it a little bit you gotta go all the way now the other thing worth mentioning is I'm not gonna touch this with my bare fingers I'm wearing rubber gloves right now and they're clean or they were cleaned and uh, I'm not going to touch that with bare fingers because you have salts in your like oily hands has like salt in it. You touch it and then it sticks to it and then right where you touch that knife is where it's going to um, it's gonna rust because those salts will attract moisture and then the moisture will be sitting on top of the blade where you touched it. Um, it's pretty dry right now so I'm not really worried about this flash rusting though it could so I kind of got to hurry up and drop this thing into the phosphate bath. Okay, so now that we got our supplies ready, um, we could continue with the parkerizing process. So let's get a uh, bat of water boiling and we'll start adding ingredients.
All right, so now that we've uh, we finished the parkerizing process, we cleaned all the oil and grease off of this knife. Um, we can go ahead and take a review. Now, this is actually, since I've cleaned it off, this has actually sat for quite a while, and I've gotten it wet. I splashed it with water on accident multiple times. Um, it's sat in the garage for a couple of months, and uh, through hot and warm temperatures, and it has yet to get rusty. So overall, I think the parkerizing process did what it uh, is intended to do, or was, uh, d was intended to do, and that is to protect the blade, the steel, from corrosion. Now, um, I'm going to be honest here though, if you take a look at it, it's blotchy. It's very blotchy actually. And the, the coloring is, is, com is totally inconsistent on the blade and even in the tanch and whatnot. Now I've already assembled, reassembled this, this knife. And if you look at that pommel, or the attachment piece or whatever you want to call this, it actually doesn't look bad. This piece came out alright and uh, this looks pretty uniform. But up in here you can see the blotches, you can see some lines, I don't even know what that's from. I don't know what I did to cause that. So overall getting a uniform finish is pretty difficult. You know, it's not easy. You're not going to get that perfect uniform look on a homemade parkerizing system. I mean you might actually, and I think actually if I, if I were to dip this blade in multiple times into the bat of phosphoric bath, like I showed it would probably start to get darker and keep getting darker and then at some point you might not see any of the blotches. Now I don't know if that's totally true but the reason why I didn't kind of do that too is because every time you dip it into that phosphoric bath it does etch and take a little bit away from the steel. My goal was just to get that that phosphate coating just enough to hold, have the oil stick and hold on to it and it should protect it from corrosion and make it look kind of neat. And now I'll be honest too I actually think that that blotchiness. I think that looks nice. It looks almost like Damascus, although I don't really like that look. I just like the blotchiness. It's kind of a stain. kind of adds character. kind of makes it look um, antique, um, vintage almost. I don't mind how that looks. I like it. So overall, I would say it's a success, a success but uh, you do have to be careful when you're um, when you're putting this thing, uh, when you're putting rifle parts or anything like that because you may not get the finish you want with that homemade parkerizing system. Although you will get a finish, that is for certain. So remember guys, uh, stay tuned. I think I'm going to do a sequel to this video and I think I'll be further customizing this knife. I think I'll put a nice wood handle on there and maybe a brass pummel and whatever else I could think of. So that'll be, that'll be like a part two or a uh, sequel to this this video but until then uh, it stands as it is and one last test of durability and uh, uh, assurance if I after it's assembled and I put it back on it fits right onto the Century 93 like it originally was attended to and it seems to work just fine. I'm Isaiah C from the OutdoorExperiment.com and if you uh, Want to check out more stuff like this? Go ahead and go to my website, www.outdoorexperiment.com. And until next time. <laughs>